What if you walk into your patient's room and you see this EKG rhythm on the monitor? Well, this is a third degree heart block, and if you miss it, your patient could go into cardiac arrest. So what's happening? Well, there's a complete disconnect between the top and the bottom chambers of the heart. The atria are firing, but none of those signals are actually getting through to the ventricles. Your patient's atria are doing their own thing, contracting at a normal rate, but the ventricles are left to fend completely for themselves, relying on a slow and unreliable escape pacemaker. Therefore, the patient is likely to be severely bradycardic and hemodynamically unstable. Here's your game plan. Number one, assess your patient. Are they dizzy, hypotensive, or are they having chest pain? That's typically a red flag. Now second, if they are symptomatic and unstable, you wanna get the pads on and be ready to pace them. This is your number one priority. And third, atropine is typically ineffective for third degree heart blocks because the electrical conduction problem is actually below the AV node, which is where the drug acts. So it usually fails to increase the heart rate in these patients. You need to be thinking about a permanent solution, which is typically gonna be a permanent pacemaker. Because if you miss this disconnect, the next time you see your patient, they might be in cardiac arrest.